And of course, it was 43 years ago, March 30th, 1981, that John Hinckley Jr. attempted to assassinate President Ronald Reagan. Reagan was shot in the chest while walking to his limousine after addressing a labor convention in Washington, D.C. His wound, not fatal, Secret Service agents shoved Reagan into a limousine which sped to George Washington University Hospital. Press Secretary James Brady and two police officers were severely wounded by Hinckley's gunfire. Police arrested Hinckley and booked him on federal charges of attempted assassination. The president, meanwhile, returned to the White House April 11th. Hinckley was indicted but was found not guilty by reason of insanity in June of 1982. He was given an indefinite term at a mental institution in Washington.